Hey, this is Steven with Make It Rad. Here again with the Tundra, but this time with a towing video. I've seen a lot of different Tundra towing videos and I have mentioned in my prior videos that I tow a family camper. This is a 27 foot Airstream Globe Trotter. Uh, don't have exact weight, tongue weight on this, but it's, it's darn near a thousand pounds. Uh, kind of give you a back look on, you can see how that Tundra handles it. it squats a little bit, but pretty darn good. Uh, it does have a weight distribution hitch. That's the Anderson hitch. I'll probably do a video on that as well. But just wanted to get a quick overview out here picking the camper up from the dealer. I'm actually at a truck stop. I'm at a cat scale. I'm gonna run through and uh, make sure my hitch is doing what it should be doing, which is putting a little bit more weight on the front end. And it obviously is doing a pretty okay job of that. It's not, we're not doing Papa wheelies too bad over here. So um, just wanted to shoot some initial footage and talk about how that Tundra tows this Airstream. So it's about 7,600 pounds, I think, give or take. Um, Right now it's just me in the truck. So it's, you know, actually sitting quite well, given this is a half ton and um, a full size Airstream. So after I weigh, I'll go through the, the process of setting the Tundra back up into tow mode. And you see a lot of reviews on, oh, how does the Tundra tow? But you don't actually see like what mode they're towing in. I've seen some videos where they just throw it in drive and that's, that's not what you wanna do. It has a tow haul mode and um, recommendations from Toyota on the best method to do that as well as the integrated brake controller so um, and you know just some of my personal preferences with towing um, so I'll go through those settings real quick once I pop back in but for now we're just gonna we're gonna go right around over there and go get on the scale and I'll pop back over here see you in a bit so one of the first things you want to do when towing a trailer with the Tundra or any other vehicle really with the trailer brake controllers set the trailer brake controller for the correct type of trailer you have. So you, you can find that at least on the Tundra under the gear icon, vehicle settings, trailer type. And you can scroll through right here. In this case, the Airstream is electric brakes, 5,000 pound plus trailer, but other options are electric over hydraulic, under 5,000, 5,000 plus pounds electric over hydraulic, overall off, electric under 5,000, and again, back to electric 5,000. Um, set that, make sure it's correct. And then you can just exit right back out. And then you want to come down to your trailer brake controller. In this case, the Tundra is right here. Focus in on that. Um, and when you start moving, you just want to manually hit your trailer brakes like that. And make sure it slows down your truck and that it's good. You can also, in this case, adjust your gain right here. On this vehicle, I have it set to around six, which, which works well for this particular trailer. But you'll want to adjust that. Um, to your particular vehicle, you can see there it has adjusted to six and then it just pops back over to the main screen there. Um, other items, you wanna make sure you're in tow haul mode. So on the Tundra, the button is down here. Don't just go in tow without this. This changes the ECU's programming for towing specifically. And a lot of those changes are much better throttle control. Like if you ever drive normally with tow haul mode, it's kind of fun. Um, but engine braking is much enhanced. Um, it downshifts earlier and it's overall a much better towing experience. But the other key item to towing with a Tundra specifically is you want to be sure to not just throw it in drive. You really want to put it over into sequential. And once you're in sequential, you can see here on the gauge cluster, I'll try to zoom in there. It's an S4, which is the default for the Tundra, and that's what the manual automatically puts it in. With this type of trailer, I'll leave it in S4 around town, and then when I'm on the highway, I'll bump it up to S5. But for around town, bump it down to S4. If I'm going down a hill and I want you know, even more engine braking, I'll, I'll manually shift it down to S3. The key being, make sure you're in tow haul, make sure you're manually selecting your gears, and you're not overdoing it on the brakes. As much as you can stay off the brakes, the better towing experience is overall. So, just a quick uh, pointers on the Tundra specifically. Tows really well S4. I can pop it into S5 on the highway. Torque converter stays locked up. Um, and that's one of the things you wanna make sure that you're doing is monitoring a uh, torque converter lockup. And this being a 2020, and I assume the earlier Tundras do as well. It really, the ECU really changes torque converter lockup. So I've got this USB monitoring on the phone here. 
and that top right one is 196 that's the um, transmission fluid at the torque converter 185 right below that on the right hand side is um, at the pan and then 192 is overall temperature so if you have something like that it's super handy because you can monitor that. So if I'm in fifth and I press down on the gas pedal, what it will do is unlock the torque converter and that, you know, the truck accelerates right, you know, really well. Um, but you can watch that top right number, that 196 will shoot up to like 210, 215, you know. Um, and then once you, you know, if you're passing and then you get back over, the torque converter relocks and that number will stay right back down. Um, it'll go almost instantly right back down to around 200. Now this does have, um, this being a 2020 Toyota pulled the cooler off factory, um, but I went ahead and I installed like the 2007 hard lines and um, thermostat and then put an aftermarket cooler in the front and I can get some footage of that. Um, but that's really key is monitoring that. Um, I would much rather drive it at, in fourth at 4,000 or 3,000 RPM than fifth with torque converter unlocked. It's much, the truck is much happier that way. It keeps all your, all your uh, temperatures in check. So handy tool to have, this is just, um, a Bluetooth adapter plugged into the OBD port and you know some various gauges but key being um, top right transmission temp at the torque converter bottom right ATF temp at the pan and then one over on the left is the engine coolant and those typically are right around the same so when I'm towing um, engine coolant stays right around 195 200 ATF stays around 195 200 and then as long as the torque converter is locked that that stays like within two or three degrees of overall ATF at pan. The minute the torque converter unlocks, you'll see that shoot up, but it cools right back down with that cooler. So, um, quick overview, settings that work well for me. Uh, would love to hear if you tow with the Tundra, what settings work well for you and you know, what, what your experience has been. But overall, I've been, I've been super happy with this truck and, and, and how it tows. And this is a, a pretty decent sized trailer, 27 foot Airstream for, for the Tundra here. So just wanted to show you guys an example of what fifth gear towing, we're doing about 60, right now it looks like in the Tundra with the Airstream behind us. Fifth gear torque converter locked. I'll try to move this down. Obviously I'm driving, a little hard to do. So you can see the temperature over there. I don't know if you can see it. But it's right around 200. There we go. Now if I was to unlock the torque converter by giving it gas, You'll see it go up, 203, 205, 208, and I just let off 210, 211, and almost immediately, 213, you'll see it go right back down once the torque converter locks. So the torque converter's locked, 210, 208, 205, 204, 203, and then see the temp is still 197 at the pan and the engine's 199. So um, torque converter locked is super, super good thing to watch out for it keeps your temps in check like i said we've slowed down a bit um, a lot of traffic up here so trying to drive safe and obviously film for you guys but uh, good example you know i'm just sitting here doing fit following the traffic so yeah, here we are there's the mirror view just an airstream right back there <laughs> and then the the camera for the airstream back there so to focus in a more live towing video for you guys so there you have it i don't know if you'll be able to see the airstream back there there it is there it is all right well i'm going to concentrate on the road and uh make sure i drive safely but there you have it that's the way i do it i think that works pretty well for the tundra thanks